looking ahead to your uh, Monday. How's it looking, sir? Hey guys, it's going to be a little bit warmer, but a whole lot like this. You won't see as many clouds in the sky. That was from that storm system that moved in through the weekend. But like those clouds continuing to push east on out of here, clear skies caused by gusty Santa Ana winds. As far as right now, though, it's calm and cool in the low 60s, very close to that upper 50s. Humidity, though, 90%. We're going to see those humidity levels drop, though, exponentially. I mean, some of us probably not getting out of the teens in the coming days does lead to elevated fire concern. Uh, daytime highs today got in the low 70s. Still a very cool, relatively cool day, I should say. Uh, not getting out of the 60s in Ramona. Low 70s, though, in El Cajon. And then hanging out in the low 50s this evening for our mountain communities, the coolest part of our region. As far as tonight goes, you can see in this blue here, cool air too. 43 degrees in Julian in the low 50s in Escondido. 57 right now along the coastline. High pressure is moving in. That's what's going to heat us up and drive more of those windy conditions in the coming days. But switching directions, though, this low pressure is going to take over relatively soon by the end of the week. I mean, Thursday, Friday, we will see temperatures take a bit of a nosedive. But until then, let's talk about those winds picking up overnight tonight into our Monday, stopping the clock at 6 a.m. Gusty conditions for the foothills and the valleys, and then even for some of us along the coastline, too, can Pendleton and Oceanside seeing around mid 30 mile an hour wind gusts to 22 mile an hour wind gusts in the afternoon and then heading into Sunday. I should say Monday evening. Excuse me, getting close to 50 mile an hour wind gusts in Alpine 26 in Ramona gusty conditions carrying out through our Monday evening and then picking up once again into Tuesday. I mean, look at this. 50 mile an hour wind gusts in Julian, very dangerous conditions, especially for those high profile vehicles. If you're hitting the road as we kick off this work week, whether you're going to work or just going out and, and driving to see family and friends, something to note. As far as tomorrow though goes, it's gonna get a little bit warmer in the mid 70s along the coastline, low 60s though for the mountain regions. All right, everyone, here's that seven day. We've made it in the upper 70s as we kick off the work week. So yeah, warm for November and then drop into the upper 60s by Thursday. So we will see a dip in temperatures getting a little bit cooler by the Thanksgiving holiday, at least in Southern California terms. <laughs>